guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fashion Kujin and today we're back with you for Free Run episode 29, uh, 21. <laughs> Not 29, no. <laughs> Last episode, okay, we're, no, we're bad, we're bad, the, the badass guy who yeah. doesn't kill for nothing. Exactly, him uh, fought uh, Ubel. <laughs> I'm gonna try and remember the girl names. who killed for everything. Yes. Well, Ubel reminds me of Craven. Ubel uh, seems to be looking for the biggest fight of her life. So someone worthy, someone strong enough to kill her. But she wants she wants them to work for it. Like she's not just gonna let herself die. She wants a fight to the death. And Ridbell is really strong. And uh, he still tries to keep his humanity despite having to kill women and children in battle before. So Ridbell yeah. knows a thing or two about fights and about heartache and his power literally allows him to take a breath and prepare himself for the kill. So I like him very much and there's got there's something going on too with the uh, I don't remember her name. I tried. I'm sorry, but the girl who's on his team and he said something about being in love with the girl back in his hometown and becoming strong for her and stuff and I have a feeling it's her. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I ship it. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, also, by the way, like Wirbel and his team found the Stile, and the Fern and her team, they got their bird, so they're good. Fer, uh, Frieden and her team just got their bird stolen by Denken, Denken and, his team. and his team. I'm really bad with names. So uh, they are currently facing the team, well, two of them. Denken, who is an imperial mage who's killed people before political mages and stuff, uh, he is facing Frieden, he knows who she is, and that's a huge thing that he's willing to, to fight Huge her. Huge honor to fight her. Well, so uh, the fact that he's willing to fight her is scary. And uh, the other guy who's with him just took the two girls up in the air and uh, he wants to kill them, but then Ken is saying just put them to sleep, so we'll see what he does. But yeah, we have a fight on our hands, so let's jump in this episode oh, and see what they have in store for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full-length reactions. Alright, let's go! Oh, there's something about a privilege too that if you become a first mage, first class mage, you get to go to uh, an elf mage who apparently knows all the spells there. I'm in this one. <laughs> I did not expect that voice. <laughs> okay, so wait, they. I thought they were maybe childhood friends, but it's not that at all. Or is it? My theories might have been all wrong, but I don't care. I mean, I expected that elf to be friends with Flam, maybe? Or well, like to know her... It depends. Years. It depends on when that elf became all-knowing and, and just that important. But apparently it was a long time ago. It's interesting to hear an elf say, it's been a long time, <laughs> to a human. True. Okay, we can do this. I believe in them. Poor other mages who might have been on that when it raised. <laughs> ah, they would yeah, understand each other. We think alike. Well, to know everything puts an end to the search, end to the adventure. Yeah. No wonder that she's bored then. <laughs> Oh, so okay, I see the pattern. On a whim, she's like, you'll do it. <laughs> yeah, well. And I mean, she got the time. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Yes. She knew. 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 She the thrill, like you don't need all of the spells because there's not a need for it. You, you have the time to search for them. Hmm, I like that. I mean, you can't freeze the ground like that, but our cat is trying to get in. Oh, 
Well, now they're together. Most doesn't mean all of the tricks. Well, ice is water. Can we do something about that? <laughs> I want them to prove themselves. Because he pisses me off.派手な魔法使いやがって。魔法学校の出身だろう。防御魔法中心の消耗戦のやり方でも教えているのか。魔法師の講義をしてやろう。We're out of Something to break the shield? Yep, something to break the shield. She put herself in danger for her. They care. That is why I said before that you can't, you know, you can't spit on the old, but you can't reject the new either. Mm. The new aims to basically destroy the old, so... <laughs> Turn into a bloodbender. どう水が配分されているのか想像できるのか大量の魔力に守られている魔法使い相手に魔法では実現できないこんな小娘は脅威でも何でもない。She's <笑> And her confidence might just help. Ooh, this reminds me of my youth time. Yes, because let's be clear, you will never exhaust our mana. I like when they say that. Be surprised. Although we could be surprised too. Pretty cool. Going all out. <laughs> he destroys the barrier and then the water will fall. <laughs> it would have been cool. Who? Maybe it's Freeman. I don't know. We got one right here. Perfect. I read Castlevania. I don't know why. Not yet. I know. <laughs> the fact that usually you block only where you need it and stuff to not exhaust mana, but she can afford to just block everything. I know she had to because it was a spiral and stuff, but still. Just like that? She's not even breaking a sweat. It's pretty amazing. Again, it is Frieden. Torture? <laughs> If she kills, yeah, if she kills her teammate, it's over anyway. <laughs> Do not use <laughs> No, but she'll, like he said, she'll detect you. That's why she's not touching him. She wants you, yeah. <笑>見つけた。オーバー。ギュガットレイガール。殺意がないことなど分かりきってろ。She <笑> They can manage. <laughs> she trusts in her comrades. 
In her kids? Yeah. yeah. She was the one, yep. Yeah. The barrier is coming down and the water will fall. <laughs> and that means Frieden is stronger. That means she's stronger. <laughs> I am thirsty! Oh, come on. Somebody ask for rain? <laughs> it's possible. Oh, let's go, man. Bitch, look at us. Look at her. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> yep. What? No, it's impossible. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Frieden. Yeah. Coincidence? Mm -hmm. Maybe she got it from a great mage. <laughs> First class? Who? <laughs> I am back! Hmm. <laughs> Cut away from, from her element. She'd be so powerful. I give up. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> You're panic. I mean, <laughs> try to defeat that. Mm. You can block that. <sighs> Gosh, kid. <laughs> Brother. He's just like, uh. <laughs> she just left him there to drown. Good girl. Yeah, I acknowledge you. Suma. Unless it's still just. Kosoko Okay, you still got two hours. I mean, try. Hopefully, I, I hope that he has that bird. So, yeah, but no, you yeah, what if you have to fight them later? One on one, like Naruto? Mm. Oh. And they have a steel. So, might as well. <laughs> don't say that! They don't know! <laughs> Is he like a block of muscles? <laughs> Maybe. That'd be funny. Good old fashioned way. I mean, the defeated teams that we met, we spent too much time learning about their past and what they want and stuff, so they need to stay in the run. They'll get their stile. <laughs> Compared to who, how much I mean, we have? Nice. He's just been chilling. <laughs> Paradise. <laughs> they come back. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like he got a rough <laughs> It's because I think he says, it's like, I'm so happy, it's scary. <laughs> but he misses them so much, <laughs> <That's> buddy. <laughs> this isn't love, this is uh, Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He loves the abuse at this point. <laughs> uh, so, who do you want to talk about first? Frieden and that elf girl whose name I keep forgetting? Or Denken and, and all of that? Denken. Okay, pretty uh, easy enough. I am glad that he still managed to get that bird. Yeah. Because just the fact that he wants to become a first match, not for the privilege, that's good, but because he wants to go back home for tombstone. That is sad. <laughs> that is really sad. Although I, I thought that you could go north if you had a first class mage with you 
and a priest and all of that. So it's just that he doesn't know any first class mage that want that would travel with him. Maybe, maybe might as well become one. He is strong, except he tackled Friren, and that's never a good move. <laughs> I love the whole building up the tension. Well, building up her reputation once again by being like, like, do you really believe anyone is stronger than that girl who I can't remember? Steady. 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 That's her yeah. name. Okay. Do you really believe anyone is stronger than her and will manage to destroy the do the dome and stuff, the barrier? I mean, And yeah. she just did. And what a beautiful scene. The whole beam of light just getting up and, dis and the whole glass thing shattering. Like, ah. Oh. It was so pretty. Powerful. And it's, it's, I mean, it is basically saying that Friren didn't get anything easy. She went out there, she gathered those spells, she became strong, and now she is on par, if not stronger, potentially, than that girl. She's the embodiment of what a maid should be and should do. So that's it. Well, I mean, when you compare the two, in the episode, they, they, they're like, oh, I, I have all the knowledge in the world. I can give you give you any spell you want. So just tell me what you want. And Friren's like, no, the, the joy in being a mage is to go out and, and gather it. I guess if you are raised... I mean, Friren technically was raised in an era of war too. It's just that she is made for an era of peace. She was made to bring on peace and then enjoy peace. Whereas for, I guess, Flam, the way she, what she meant was that her and, and that elf girl, City, right... <laughs> is it the same person? <laughs> is it? I think it is. Look it up. Yeah, it is her because she was like, when her dome got broken, she was like, ah, yeah, that's oh, a okay, okay. weird way to say hello. <laughs> so I think it's her. But still, uh, the two of them, maybe they got so used to war, their way of becoming strong is like, the quicker the better. Like, you need to learn as much as possible because you need to be as strong as possible. So as soon as you defeat your enemy, you wouldn't know what to do with all that knowledge. Like, there's nothing left. You have no goal, you have no purpose anymore, like you just waste away with all that knowledge. But for I mean, Friden, she got strong by going out there and traveling and getting to learn it. She still has, even after defeating the, the Demon King, she didn't do it herself. She got friends to help because she wasn't, I, I, I guess she wasn't as strong as Flam or um, that elf girl, City or whatever, when she faced the Demon King, but she had friends with her and it worked. And now she is still happy with magic enough that she can go out there and search for spells she didn't lose that spark as for the other two they would have like th there would have been nothing left and that's another thing as soon as you learn all the spells that there that that are out there there's nothing for you to do you don't have any purpose anymore yeah so but i also like that when at when Friren destroyed the dome she, the other girl was like oh but that's why i still you know i'm still around i'm still a mage because once in a while, the world does flip over. Like, there's something <laughs> surprising that happens. Like, Friden, who's younger, who was, you know, her student's student, still managed to get to, to her and stuff. And that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Because she did say, like, you're not built for this. Like, you're not good enough. And she ended up being strong enough to break her dome, so her barrier. So that's cool. I mean, it is the best when the student managed to surpass his own master. And it might happen in the future yet again. That's the thing. Although Friren, since her passion is to learn all the spells that are out there, she's never going to stop. As long as there are spells to learn, she will go out there and she'll learn them. So she's not stagnating. Like She's not stopping in her growth. She's like, always in progress. Yeah, even though, like, when in battle, she only uses the bare, you know, the, the minimum because that's all that's necessary. Like, there's no need to be flashy. There's no, just like, uh, I don't remember his name, I'm sorry. Names. Duncan? Nope, the other one. Richard? Yeah, him. He said, you know, uh, defense spells would take too long to to create or to you know bring on if they got too complex so that's why they need to stay simple. simple but if you do that the newer spells will go through like that's why you the newer spells the flashy spells the ones that have um character you know the one that use A physical objects physical impact yeah because i guess like in the beginning all you had was zoltrak and then the spell to defend against it and those two just kept you know, following each other. So Zoltrak got strong, but that defense spell got strong too. Mm -hmm. But you cannot make that spell more complex to face other types of magic that are more versatile. So in combat, you got to make sure that you can defend against everything with those basic spells. 
good. If you try to overcomplicate them, they're not as useful, I guess. So that's good that Friedan taught Fern to use well, Zoltrat I mean, it's, it's and the defense It's not that they're not spells. as useful. It's just going to take so much more time to use them. Yeah, but that's so the you thing. Won't have to, you won't have the time to defend they yourself. Are, with that's them. why they're not useful. If you can't use them to defend yourselves mm -hmm. because they take too long, they're not useful anymore. So might as well learn the basic spells that are easy and quick but and make them stronger. Someone who is re uh, really quick with their spell casting, like Freelan and Fern, do you think that they could manage to use those more complex def defense spells then? I don't know. Then again, it's not like, I mean, Fern said herself that Freelan is not stopping her from learning those other spells. So in combat, you don't need anything other than those basic spells that mm. she taught her. Because that's, I mean, mages of today, I guess are not up to par. <laughs> like, they're not strong enough to, to warrant I mean, anything else. I mean, even an old man like Denken, who is up to par, wasn't up to par against Freelan. Well, that's the thing. Like, you go all out and you you send stuff like that. But if you, if you perfected the, the basic spells, you can defend against anything. I don't know mm -hmm. if they would manage. Like, I mean, the guy was saying, like, basic spells, of, of defensive spells and stuff. The stuff that you've learned, they're good against Zoltrak and they're good against monsters and stuff. But against a large physical mass or something, they can't defend against that. So you will break through. But I don't know if you perfect that defensive spells without making it too complex... Is, does it still work? Or in that case, like when you're facing someone who's good enough to go through the defensive spells, that's when you bring in all the other knowledge. Maybe. I don't know. Even Friedland said, like, I don't, I, would, I don't know how I would fight someone that can control water when it's raining. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's no way I can block that. So, I mean, and she did say she's been defeated in the past. So mm -hmm. sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. But there is good and bad in learning everything, and there's good and bad in, in keeping to the basic. And still, I say that, but Friran and Fern do learn all those other spells. It's just they don't use them in battle. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying that? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah, Friran to me, surpassed that other elf girl. Oh, I think, I think she's, you know, well on her way. Because she's, I mean, she kept that flame going. She went out there. She she didn't stop her growth. And there's always new stuff to learn. She's still motivated by a goal. She wants to reach something. So she's never going to stop learning or to use different ways to use those spells. And doing so, she'll never stop getting stronger. Mm. Hmm. I really want them to meet each other again. I pegged her as, you know an evil person. I don't know if it's because of, of the weird smile she gave in the first opening or anything, but I might have she's misjudged her. Just, she's not evil. She's just has a resting bitch face. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Uh, it's interesting that she was the one who taught Flum. That is crazy. So yeah, she does. She is linked to Frieden, but they are very, they are different, yet very similar. Because like, at the end of the day, like the idea of going out there to learn as many spells as possible is to become like uh, city right to become like this all-knowing elf but the the idea of the world is that it always evolves too so you technically you shouldn't ever be like city because it's impossible there's always something new that's the beauty of the world it evolves it changes that's why you don't spit on the new spit on the old none of that you learn from the old you perfect it you, you keep it around but you don't close yourself up mm. to all the new stuff that comes around because that new stuff is trying to go around or through the old spells. So. You know what's best? And when you're able to use the, the old and the new and you combine well, those that's, two? That's what Freiren and Fern are. Like, like Fern said, she can use whatever, like all the spells that are out there. Like she knows, uh, she knows a lot of spells. Sometimes they look like you know. Sometimes you don't think you can use them for I anything. I can see it through clothes. Yeah, <laughs> like you don't see the purpose of them. But um, to know them is the joy of magic. Like you go around and you learn new things. It's it's the curiosity, mm -hmm. and that's because they are in an era of peace where they don't need to learn as fast as possible stuff to defend themselves and stuff to hurt because they are you know they need it to survive. It's the joy of, of... Basically, you enjoy peace because you have that privilege. You enjoy this because you can go out there and learn spells that don't matter. That's peace. That's, that's peace times. That's what they gave all those mages. It is beautiful.
because of their sacrifice and their fight, these mages get to be curious. They get to go and learn and become stronger learning those spells. Learning quickly, like that's not the, the that's not the journey, that's not the purpose. Should what are you gonna to do? Take shortcuts. Yeah. yeah, but what are you gonna do once you learn that spell? Like you learn it, it's over. What are you gonna do with it? There <laughs> there goes your goal then. Yeah. In any case. Alright, so it looks like the next step for the exile is gonna be in a few days. Yes. And it's gonna be a match one on one. Basically. We need to go give some love to Stark. It might be a, a match. I think the fact he, he said, like, we don't know what's going to happen next. Could be a one-on-one -on -one fight or at least a combat between all the, the participants. Naruto style. <laughs> or, I mean, other shonen styles. But Maybe. Uh, possibly. But that would be cool because now we saw a few of them. We know their fighting styles a little bit. So that I mean, we had to team up with others... Uh, candidates now kill each other <laughs> or at least do, defeat do, each do other do you think it's gonna be a fight to the death or just a fight until you give no, up no I don't think I mean they could say just like in Nardo they could be saying like oh uh, some of them have died in the past like it could be a fight to the death like if you don't stop you could die but no one is truly gonna die or I doubt that anyone is gonna die we'll see I mean people did die in the first Task, so maybe. Yeah, but, but thanks to just monsters in general, yeah. not because of mages, I guess. But I mean, he did say that if you don't survive those tasks, you're not, you're not up to be a, a first class mage then. Yeah. We'll see. But I am proud of, uh, of our girls, and uh, I'm excited about the next, the next task, and mm. that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with mm. us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. All right, we're going to see you for the next one next week, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.